Mark Winterbottom has had a strong season, winning races and fighting for the championship amongst the highlights. This weekend, the Ford Pepsi Max crew driver heads to what is effectively his home race around the streets of the Sydney Olympic Park in Sydney. Although the V8 Supercars title has gone to Jamie Wincup, Winterbottom has an eye on second place in the final standings and going into the summer off-season break with a spring in his step. When the championship's been decided before the final round, uh, you know, Jamie Wincup has nothing to lose. He uh, can go and, and drive as hard as he wants. He, he's got nothing to lose. Where Craig, um, they're going to try and definitely work for him to try and get him into second because they want to finish 1-2. And for us, we want to try and get in between them to, uh, to, to finish as high as possible. So um, still plenty to race for. It's not a, a dead rubber as such. You know, Jamie's won it, but there's still going to be a lot of good racing. And... Um, Hopefully we're at the front of it, that's, that's what we need to be. The Sydney race is 500 kilometres of hard racing around an unforgiving street layout lined with concrete barriers. It's a tough race, physically, mentally, um, you know, on the cars, everything. It's, it's one, of a, uh, one of the toughest all year and hopefully uh, the temperatures are kind to us. But we've been there when it's 40 degrees and in the cabins over 70. So um, there's no doubt it's going to be tough, but I hope that, you know, we're up for the challenge, we're up for the battle and if we can come out on top, that'd be nice. Winterbottom will be leading the Ford Charge, but he will have another Blue Oval star on track with Marcus Ambrose back after nine years in NASCAR. It's going to be interesting to see how he slots back in. The cars have changed. Um, is it, you know, all the fields changed as well. There's different drivers, different competition, different manufacturers. So I'm sure he'll find it different. But um, you know, there's no doubt he'll be competitive. So uh, it'll be good to see how he goes, and hopefully he uh, he can help me out a bit, and we can both get up there and get a good result. But um, yeah, it'll be good to see him back. That's the that's the main thing. To have him here will be uh, be nice to race him in a good car. The Sydney 500 will feature two 125 kilometre races on Saturday with the season ending 250 kilometre encounter on Sunday.